Hey everybody, Skylar here, and today I wanted to talk to you about a couple different news stories, actually. I wanted to talk to you about um, JP Morgan coin and Facebook coin, and kind of, people are freaking out, and I feel like it's kind of unnecessary, so I'll kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, I'm going to talk about Thailand as well. There's some interesting things that Thailand is doing with the SEC there. Um, and then I'm also going to talk about uh, a Coinbase. Coinbase recently partnered up with um, with a really shady company, and a lot of people are deleting their accounts. So I'm going to go over those. Hopefully I'll keep it pretty short. Um, I just made like a 30-minute video of this. I'm trying to cut it way shorter. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if you are interested in crypto space news, anything like that, I do make these videos every single day. So if you are interested in the space, liking, subscribing is not a bad idea. Also, every, everything that I do make off of this channel and this name uh, goes straight to charity. So every single like and subscribe really does go a very long way. Uh, but let's just hop right into it. Um, so a lot of people on, on Twitter, um, Twitter's pretty much the only social media account, social media I, I even um, am very active in outside of YouTube, um, but they're freaking out over, uh, over, you know, JP coin, Facebook coin and all this stuff because they think it's going to drive, um, Bitcoin into the ground and whatnot. And it doesn't really make sense to me because it's, they're not like replacing Bitcoin in any way, but. And anyway, um, Binance, which is the largest crypto exchange company um, company out there, um, in fact, their Binance coin is one of the best performing assets in the last year. Uh, at any rate, uh, they ended up saying that uh, JP Coin is a stepping stone towards mass adoption by exposing large clients to a private blockchain structure. JP Coin will indirectly increase um, interest in the wa wider crypto industry. So, um, which is something I completely agree with. Um, and I think as well, once people, um, yeah, stable coins issued by banks are deserved to serve a specific purpose and as a result, do not directly compete with existing stable coins. It's also, if you know what a stable coin is, it's, it's something on exchanges. You can go onto exchange, you can convert your Bitcoin into a stable coin. That way, you know, if, if a big drop is happening and, and you don't want to cash out, you can just put it into Tether, which I don't like, but you can put it into Tether or US dollar pairing or, um, and then just hold it into that. And then that crypto is going to stay with the Euro, stay with the US dollar, stay with whatever pairing you ended up. It, it depends on, on what you ended up um, and end up getting, but um, it, it ends up um, staying at whatever that currency is. So that way, if Bitcoin drops from ten thousand to you know eight thousand or whatever, you're not dropping, you're not losing that two thousand dollars, and then you could take that ten thousand, put it back into Bitcoin at eight at the eight thousand price, and you have a little more Bitcoin. So it just allows you to do that, so you don't actually have to cash out your money, um, and um, and that's not what. That's not what uh, JP Coin is. JP Coin is really there just to you know have for like in-house settlements and that sort of stuff um, for their own company. So you can't get it on an exchange whatsoever. Um, however, when it it is it is uh, you know shining a light on the crypto space, um, which I think is huge. Now Brad Garlinghouse even said. Uh, you know, um, as predicted, banks are, ch oops, as predicted, banks are changing their tune on crypto, but this JPM project misses the point. Introducing a closed network today is <laughs> like launching AOL after Nets Netscape's IPO two years later. The bank coins still aren't the answer, which I completely agree with. So, um, like, so Brad Garlinghouse, he's the CEO of, of Ripple, um, and Ripple is kind of doing the same thing but a lot more and with every bank in the world. So um, they're able to help, you know, bank to bank and um, help with clearing and settlements and that sort of stuff uh, where Chase is just doing their coin with their own company. Um, now, if, <laughs> if uh, JP coin even presents 1% of what it has to the crypto space, it's already the largest, um, stablecoin in the crypto space for sure. The crypto space is very, very new. And so uh, this company could explode if they did the right thing for sure. Um, but they're not competing. They're not listing their coins on any exchange. Um, that being said, Facebook 
is listing their coins on exchanges. So um, Facebook is, is another one that is people are also freaking out about, but I also don't think that you should be freaking out about Facebook coin because um, because uh, Facecoin is what they're calling it, I think, uh, because they're launching it as a stable coin. Um, and I think that's just going to get people into the space again. So if you can get a stable coin with Facebook, but in doing so, you can now get Bitcoin, very, you know, because you have now bought it on an exchange, on a crypto exchange, you can now take that and trade it on a crypto exchange. Um, I think that's going to open up a lot of people to the crypto space. Now, what Facebook seemingly is doing is they, they say in the next three months they're going to be launching their cryptocurrency and it's going to be launched on exchanges. And with their 2.2 billion accounts they have with you know WhatsApp and Instagram and Facebook and Messenger and, and whatnot, um, they can really make a huge impact. But then again, it's a centralized currency. Um, and it's going to be a stable coin, and it's I think it's going to be used for cross-border um, payments or you know something like that. I don't know. They haven't really d d dive deep in what it's going to be, but um, but I don't I see this as like thank goodness in three months this could be the next boom, and a lot of people are think a lot of people say you know oh we're in the bubble the bubbles popped or whatever. Um, well I don't know if you know this but. Um, Amazon was over a hundred dollars, and then it dropped below six bucks, and now it's two thousand. So um, the Bitcoin bubble has popped like a half a dozen times. It has dropped down over eighty percent. Negative has dropped over ninety percent a couple times, and recovered even more so. Now, this last time, people are saying, oh, yeah, but it's so big now. Well, um, I like to compare it to Apple. Apple just dropped like four or five months ago. They Their their stock dropped back in like October, November, something like that of 2018. Their stock dropped like 8% or something. That 8% drop was worth more than the entire, all of Bitcoin. So if all of that drop went into Bitcoin, Bitcoin's price would have doubled overnight. So... If you think the bubble of what the entire financial markets are in the entire world is like 8% of Apple, then you just don't understand where, what, how much money is worth or whatever. But, um, you know, we could 200x and then we'd be up where Visa's at. Um, but there's a lot of problems that we, that we need to fix still and we're still very new. So, um, I think it's really easy to make fun of Bitcoin in the crypto space because it's really easy to make fun of, just like the internet was easy to make fun of when they, you know, when, I mean, do you remember the programs that came out in the 90s and they were saying those programs are going to take over the world? It was a joke. But the people that saw the future were like, yeah, but what, what, think about what this could be, you know. At any rate, I'm going to move on from that. Thailand. Thailand did some interesting things. So, um, they recently, in, on February 28th, the Thailand SEC, they said that uh, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Ethereum Classic are not eligible for trading pairs, but Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and Stellar are. So, I don't know, that was really weird to me. For some reason, they said, so, the agency said that it made its eligibility selection based on cryptocurrency developments and news. Um, and the Thai SEC previously said that its main criteria is market liquidity and a robust decentralized system and being able to use trading pairs with other cryptocurrencies. Well, um, I mean, Ripple just got marked as a trading pair on, on, um, on Coinbase, but uh, I mean not having Litecoin. So if this list had Litecoin on the list and Ripple was off, then it would make sense. But um, anyways, just weird. And that's pretty much the entire news, but I just find that very, very strange. I also kind of like it because uh, they changed a couple things as well. So their ICOs, now when they do an ICO, they have to have at least $157,000 before they can even register an ICO. So that is awesome. I really, really like that. Um, I wish there was some sort of law guaranteeing that I wish everywhere they would incorporate 
never mind. I like to. I, I always talk about centralizing, you know, um, ideas, but there's a way to fix these problems without centralizing them. Uh, but it would be nice to have some sort of penalty in place so people can't make thirty million dollars and give you nothing and have it be okay, and then they can do it again with another ICO, which that's how the rules currently are. But at any rate, um, also the, the the tax rate and Thailand is 15%, which is awesome. It could be upwards of close to 50% here in the United States. Um, so that, anyways, Thailand's just doing some interesting things. Some I really like, some I'm just kind of confused about. But but yeah, um, and the last story I'm going to talk to you about is, um, is Coinbase. So Coinbase recently made a partnership with a company called Neutrino, and a lot of people are super pissed and I mean they should be because the company is known for hooking up with governments and taking down people in fact um, the, um, the the Jamal um, Kahashagi or I can't I don't know his name but that journalist uh, that I don't know if you saw him on the news but it was a journalist who got executed uh, this company was helped the government find him and 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 do this and there's been many cases where this company in fact they they talk about like having a hacking suite for government interception and they give offensive spyware they call it and they're just a very shady company that don't have any morals and, and I'm really surprised that Coinbase um is partnering up with them because they are super, super, super shady. Um, but yeah, there's... Um, oh, look, salt. Um, if, any, by the way, uh, a side note, anyone who, um, anyone who knows what salt is that recently got delisted from Binance, um, just because of... They didn't say why, really. They said development and community interest, and there's a bunch of things, like general terms or whatever, but... Um, it's kind of interesting that he's on there because uh, I just saw a whale panda. Where did I see him? Oh, on this one. Whale panda. So whale panda, this is kind of a side note. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but whale panda last year talked crap on Salt, saying that it was like a Ponzi scheme and they're just ripping people off and everything. And then Binance took him off. But anyways, back to this. So um, yeah, Coinbase hooked up with this Neutrino company. Now they're saying that they're hooking up with them because um, told Coinbase that Neutrino would allow Coinbase to expand cryptocurrency listings quickly while retaining data analysis services in-house. Coinbase spokesman said that the company was aware of the Neutrino of Neutrino's team's past but felt the significance of this business opportunity weight outweighed that consideration. So, um, and by the way, in 2013, the nonprofit Reporters Without Borders even called the hacking team one of the top five corporate enemies of the internet for its role in helping various governments crack down on critics. And they just, you know, there's lists of people that have been kidnapped and killed and all this stuff because of this company. So, um, I think, and, oh, and then they were, um, and then people are reporting that Coinbase is, pre is preventing them from closing their accounts. Now, when I first um, heard this, I thought um, it was Dust, and then I saw Dust Torch, so I figured they must know about it. But um, when you, you can close out all of your accounts and still have like barely any Bitcoin left that you can't get rid of, and they call that Dust, and you can't close your account out without getting that, rid of that Dust, but they... Um, but they got rid of it, and still a lot of people are having many issues with uh, with Coinbase being deleted, even after they removed all of their dust. So, um, but yeah, pretty interesting. Um, you know, there's many places you can get fiat converted into Bitcoin now. So, uh, Coinbase isn't really, you know, you, you can do it with Binance now. Um, so Coinbase isn't really not needed anymore, even for the noobs or, or whatever but um, anyways uh, pretty interesting news uh, let me know what you think about the whole Facebook and 
uh, Chase Bank thing, and if you think it's a threat to Bitcoin, if you think it's going to hurt Bitcoin, um, I mean, Facebook could launch their coin and then it could dramatically drop Bitcoin in price or it could go way up. I remember when the uh, Bitcoin Cash fork happened back in August, September, September, whenever it was last year. Um, Bitcoin dropped 50% right when it happened. It was a mess. But let me know if you think anything like that's going to happen. I'm, I'm real curious. Um, also, if you if you want me to cover anything, let me know as well. Um, I'd love to cover you know, a specific topic if someone's interested or whatever. But write your comments down below. I'm really interested to know. And again, um, I do make these videos every single day talking about news and updates. So liking, subscribing definitely isn't a bad idea. Everything I make goes to charity. That is it. Thank you. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.